let's just go down the line of from your biggest priorities yeah. all the way down. I'm clear. I get it. I'm ready. Yeah. I think the biggest part is the, I guess the underexposure would be a big one. Anything related to color, I would say get a colorist, right? That's going to be my, my first piece of advice. Someone who's a professional at maximizing, you know, every uh, uh, pixel that you shot. Um, there's mm -hmm. no way to know just how far you can or cannot push something without them getting in there. Inevitably, if right. you already know that you underexpose, hopefully it's not too severe. You're just going to gain and, you know, like everything else is going to be, you're going to gain some things, you're going to lose some things. Uh, you bring up the dark spots, you're going to get noise. You get noise. Yeah, there's noise reduction. Mm -hmm. Don't know, depending on the image, how well or how poor that's going to work. I can tell you only from our experience, if you were to work with us, there's noise reduction in Resolve. And then we also have a really powerful noise reduction plugin. It's called Neat Video. Now, the downside of using the noise reduction obviously depends how bad it is. If it's not that bad, you won't tell at all. If it's really, really bad, it does an amazing job, but then you have to nuance it because you lose some sharpness. You get a little bit of this plasticky looking thing, and then you guys will ultimately have to make the call. It's definitely better depending on how noisy it is, of course. Or you lean into the noise and that's a part of the look.